Hey guys, this is Andrea. I hope everyone is having a good week. I am going to be doing a series uh, based off of my coloring because I do like to do those uh, adult coloring books and I will be placing the picture that I have for you that I recently colored here. But yeah, um, that is the picture that we are basing this eye look off today. And it's, they, it has a little bit of greens and browns and peaches and a little bit of reds and grays. I'm not going to incorporate the gray that much because it, it just wouldn't look right with the look that I have in mind. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. And first, I already um primed my eyelids with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm going to go in with my Naked palette. This is kind of a shop my stash type thing too. And first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm going to take Naked. Off the access. So, my project pan has been kind of on the back burner, and that's because with October, you know, I want to do a lot of fun and creative looks for you guys. I just love doing like kind of costumey kind of looks. But I have been using my face products consistently, so that's good. Yeah, I just had this idea. I'm like, I know what I can do. I can incorporate my looks with my coloring pictures that I do. And it will also help me be more consistent with my coloring as well. And I'm actually planning a series too where um, every book I read, I do a look based on that book cover, based on the colors of the book cover and things like that. And then, uh, while I get ready, talk to you guys about the book that I read. Because I really want to get back into reading as well. I haven't really been reading that much as, like I used to. Now I'm going to go in with a uh, Orangey Glad palette from ColourPop. And I'm going to take this um, Mimosa Miami color and that's just going to go all over the lid. Cornerstone. I know that I can't be without you. This bond is solid gold. I really, really, really want the new Smokes monochromatic palette that ColourPop has come out with. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. I still haven't gotten the lilac or um the eye light the lilac coat the lilac one. Can't say that for some reason. The summer's calling. Stop blending with effortless. I know I said I wanted this color all over the lid, but I think I changed my mind. This 
pink or this pink shade is going to be based off of her hat that's in the picture. As we wait for the smoke to clear and we watch our dreams appear, I know that we can rise together. This vision that we share is ours, together we can touch the stars. I know that we will see December. Cause when it's all over, the love that you give will be there to guide you in every way. Now we bear. Now I am going back in with Buck. Not back in, but back in with the naked palette and I'm going into butt. You guys know what I'm trying to say. So that's going to go in the socket of the crease. I want this to be really dark, so that's why I'm going back and forth with this color. Because I do want the peach to just like peek through. And I want the crease to be really dark. Now I'm going to cut the crease. Someone called me. Of course, nobody calls me all day, and then when I sit down to do something, they always call right at the wrong time. And I'm just like, really? You don't call me for like hours. And then you're like, oh, Andrea's doing something. Let's call her. I definitely think I'm becoming a lot more comfortable filming though. Before I was so nervous, like setting up, trying to get everything perfect like I said in the other video. And now it's just like 
you know, I've kind of made it into a habit to like film whenever I just do my makeup and I've been really enjoying it. I'm just kind of blending out that, that spot. Okay, now I'm going in with the glitter glue. It's not that metallic, but we're going to make up for it with a different shade from a different palette. I'm sure if I wet it, it would look pretty, but I have glitter glue down and I don't know how that would affect it when it's wet. Okay. Now we are going in with Just My Luck from ColourPop. And what I'm going to take this Big thanks shape. And as you can tell, I need to get into that quite a bit. I love this shade. Ooh. That is so pretty. I hate it to color pop. Their metallic shades are just so good. Okay, you guys, I'm going to finish the rest of the face off camera and come back for um, the lower lash line in the inner corner. Hey guys, so this is the final look. I just want to show you guys what I'm going to do for the inner corner and my highlight. So what I did for the bottom lash, which I don't really like that much, I took, um, I mixed naked and fuck, and then I put dark horse underneath and that's just kind of wiped off, I think. But for the inner corner, I am going to take just my luck once again. And I am going to take this shade, the Mary Jane shade. And I am going to use 
that as yellow. Ooh, that's really nice. I should use this gold more often, like in on the lid. It's like a greeny, yellowy gold. All right. Oh, and for the brow bone highlight, I just went in with Sin. From the Naked palette. All right, now for the highlight. I'm going to go in with Holographic Light from Makeup Revolution. And what I've been loving doing is mixing Star Island from the Retrograde Highlighter from Ofra with, uh, with a green. So I'm going to take the gold side that gold is really pretty though And there's the cat. Now in with holographic lights. And this is really, really cheap too. It's only like, I think $7 from Makeup Revolution or your Ulta. So now I am going to go in with for that red color, because you saw there was like some reddish pinks in the, with the flowers, I'm going to use Blackmail from Urban Decay. especially for fall so pretty and then I'm going to take I think this is called white lies from urban decay it's one of their uh, as you can see I have used a crap ton of it using my um, 
Urban Decay and D Slit. Alrighty guys, this is the final look. I love how the lips turned out in the inner corner. Oh, so pretty. But yeah, this is the look inspired by the picture that I colored in. And the I forgot to mention that the coloring book that I did color in is by Jane Summer. It is not one person. It is company owned. Uh, the company themselves is Jade Summer. So there's like multiple artists, I think, that do uh, these drawings. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I do put out new videos every thir Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you like this video, please give this a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you want to. Of course, you don't have to, but I would love having you. And I hope you guys have a good week. Bye, guys.